All right, I want to talk a little more about some of the math we used yesterday. Uh, mostly how to use a grade rod and how to calculate slope or grade. So some of the measurements we were taking yesterday was the position of the concrete drain blocks in our yard and the position of our neighbor's culvert. And a culvert is just uh, the tube that runs underneath your driveway uh, apron. And so the ground pretty much just forms a triangle, if you look at it, kind of cut from the side, where over here is our concrete drain box. And we call that zero feet. And we use the laser level to measure the elevation of our neighbor's culvert, which is that tube. Then I use the word invert, which just means the very bottom of the tube, because that's what the, uh, where the water sees. And I've got my notebook here. We measured that at 3.12 feet. So we've got a triangle here where uh, one leg of the triangle is 3.12 feet the <clears throat> opposite angle, and then the adjacent angle, which is this long one here, uh, I had measured previously with a tape measure, not a tape measure, a 300 foot tape, at uh, 334 feet. So now what we wanna do is figure out what the overall grade is, where the slope, how quickly the, the ground goes down as we move from my neighbor's culvert to our concrete drain box. Uh, so as you know from high school, uh, slope is simply rise over run. So we just have to make sure we keep our units consistent, but this whole triangle here rises 3.12 feet and runs 334 feet. So we'll plug that into the equation. So, I real quick do 3.12 feet, and then I'm going to divide by 334 feet. So I get 0 0.00934. So that's the actual slope, but. Uh, it's kind of an industry standard to report that as percent grade. And like any other percent, uh, to go from the decimal equivalent to a percentage, you multiply by 100. So say 5% is actually 0 0.05. So to go from this to percent grade, we just multiply by 100. So we get a slope of 0.93%, which is pretty shallow. but. Now when we go to install our driveway and um, install our culvert, we wanna make sure that we're on the same slope as uh, the existing grade. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> if we're below this slope, then this dirt's just gonna pile into our culvert and uh, fill it up with silt and then it's not gonna work anymore. So we've gotta take some horizontal measurements. Uh, our driveway is 22 feet away from the concrete drain box. So I'm gonna put down here a little 22 feet. Maybe I should be explicit and show what I'm measuring too. And then our uh, culvert is 20 feet long. And technically we should be measuring the 20 feet along the slope, but the angle is gonna be so slight that the math just works a lot easier if we measure it along the horizontal. Maybe I can do a video on why that approximation works out, but uh, you, you'll really only get a slight error. We're talking inches, and that would be probably an error in the fractions of an inch range. So now we're gonna put our imaginary 20-foot culvert here. And what we're trying to do is set the inverts at the headwater, which is the upstream side, and the tailwater, which is this point here. So we're really trying to get the, the elevation here 
and here. So <clears throat> again, this is another kind of high school geometry topic where you can use similar triangles to uh, solve for these elevations. So we've got the big triangle, which is 334 feet uh, in a run and uh, 3.212 feet in rise. And we've got this little tiny triangle that's sitting inside of the big triangle that's 22 feet run and we're not sure how far it rises. And so what we're gonna do is just set up a proportion and uh, I'll show you another way to do this in a minute. But when we've got a piece of paper in front of us, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, but basically we put our rise on top, we put our run of the big triangle on the bottom and then we set that equal to another proportion. So we've got our rise on the top, our run on the bottom. And now for our little triangle, the run on the bottom is 22 feet. And the rise is what we're trying to figure out. So we're going to call that x. Now, to solve a proportion, you multiply, I kind of think of it as a cross. You multiply this guy by this one. And then you divide by this one to get to that one. So we do 22. Uh, times 3.12 and then we do 334 divide and we get x equals 0.205 so that's that's in feet and so now we know the elevation we want to set the tailwater of our culvert to and that's 0 0.205 feet or really 0 0.21 feet because when you're doing dirt work you usually work in hundredths of a, of a foot now we can do the same thing for the bottom, except for this time, the uh, adjacent side of our triangle is the sum of these two. It's 22 plus 20 feet to get this triangle. So we have the same proportion, 3.12 over 334, except for this time we do 22 plus 20. So that gives us 40, 42, and now we're trying to find this height. So we do 3.12 times um, 22 plus 20, which is 42. Because it's 131, and then we divide by 334. So that gives us 0 0.39. So that's the elevation we need to set <clears throat> the headwater to. Uh, a lot of times you're not gonna be drawing out triangles while you're out uh, on the site trying to do dirt work. Uh, so a lot of times what you're doing is kind of, um, you're figuring your slope as you go. And say we came along earlier and we already figured out that the slope or grade uphill here is 0.93%. We can actually use that number to very quickly figure out how to go from one point to another point. So say we're, uh, we're here at this point and we've already dug down and gotten our elevation set to 0.21 feet. I should really write that because we really need to round down to hundreds. You've got your elevation set to 0.21 feet and you're trying to figure out where this other point is uh, 20 feet away. So in my head, I'm picturing a little triangle here. And we know this point is 0 0.21 feet. We know that the slope is 0.93%. And while we're out in the field, we're trying to figure out what this elevation is. We also know this, this is 20 feet. So <clears throat> if you, again, grade is just rise over run, and we take our, our percentage and we convert it back into a decimal by dividing by 100, so we can say 0 0.00934 is how much the ground rises for every foot of run. And so we can basically multiply the, this grade by how far we're running, which is 20 feet. And so if we multiply this, which is the slope, by the run, we, get, we should get the rise. So 0 0.00934 times 20 gives us, we go up 0 0.19 feet. So that means 
this point, because we ran 20 feet uphill, <clears throat> should be 0.19 higher than this point. So we know this point is already at 0.21. So if we go up another 0.19, we should get 0 0.40. And if you compare to our actual diagram above, we've got the tailwater at uh, 0.21 feet and the headwater at 0.39 feet. And so this really just came down to rounding error. I think I should have kept another decimal place, but that's basically how I do this on the fly when I'm uh, actually out digging with the tractor. It's actually kind of convenient because you can be at one point here, and we'll say that's uh, got us at 1.5 feet. And say I wanna know where another point is. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll walk uh, the distance, the horizontal distance from this point to this point with my shoes and figure out it's like approximately say five feet from here to here. What I can do is multiply that five feet by the 0 0.00934 feet, that is the slope. So, And I know right away that this point should be 0 0.046 feet higher than this other point. So if this point is at 1.5 feet and I need to go up another uh, 0 0.046, then I know that this point should be at one 0.55 feet. So that's just a really quick way to do it when you're you're actually out on the site.